You know, somebody just told me that there's a big game coming up. I think they call it the Super Bowl. Hmm. So I decided I am making hot wings for this because I love hot wings. But you don't have to have hot wings just for the Super Bowl. Come on. You have it year round. Have it for lunch, breakfast, dinner. Just have it because. All right, let's make some hot wings. I start with a bag of bone-in chicken wings. Pour them in like that. Now we're gonna dry them off. Each one of these needs to be pretty dry. And yes, I am gonna wash my hands when I'm done. All right, there we go. We're gonna dry off the inside here. Let's start on our next step. To make these wings crunchy, I'm gonna use cornstarch. But you could use baking powder as well. But if you look here, the first ingredient in baking powder is cornstarch. But then it gets a bunch of stuff uh, that I can't read. And because it does have that aluminum whatever in here, I don't want the flavor of that. So we're just going with cornstarch. The only ingredient in cornstarch is, well, cornstarch. I'm going to add some salt to the mix. Our salt in there, we give it a good stir. Excellent. Off to the next. We're using some Sweet Baby Ray's Buffalo Wing Sauce. And we're going to actually inject this into the wings. Look at that. Heck yeah. Nice. After a while, you'll find your groove when it comes to injecting this stuff. We're going to take each one of these and just kind of run them through it real quick. Nothing crazy. I don't need a whole heck of a lot. Excellent. Just a couple down here. Excellent. Let's see where this takes us. So our grill's been running at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. I think it's just time to flip these. Looking pretty good. Got no complaints. I'm gonna take our EVOO spray. Just kind of lightly coat the top of each one of these. Now, if I go like this, that's exactly what happens and I don't want that. We're gonna let these things go for about another 20 minutes and then time to flip them, check them out again. See you then. Now for me, it's been 20 minutes. For you, it's been about two or three seconds. Just gonna flip these again. At this point, the side that's going down is the one that we sprayed earlier. Give us another light spray. All right. Give it about 10, 15 minutes and we'll see what happens. Another 15 minutes is down. Turn them over for one last time. Now ideally we want these to come in at about 175 at least. I just did the check and a lot of these are hovering around 170. But I can see already where it's starting to crunch up on here. So give it another 10 minutes. 10 minutes are down. Time to take them off. See, the thing is, we don't want these to burn on the bottom. And a little bit's okay, like, the, I mean, that was nothing crazy, nothing major. We just don't want them to burn. And they are coming in at about 180 to 185 each. With the wings off the barbecue, we're gonna let these things rest for about 10, 15 minutes. And then we're gonna try some ranch dressing, some blue cheese dressing, and we're also gonna use Pampered Chef salt and vinegar. The wings have been sitting for about 15 minutes actually. And I just want to take the first one, see if you can hear it. That is the sound of goodness right there. 
It's really good. But I want to take some of this Pepper Chef salt and vinegar. Oh, there's a shake, whatever. Put it over. Because one of the things I like when I go out is to find salt and vinegar wings. Love those. I have to admit, they do a really good job. What I like about this is you're getting that crunch. Putting that extra virgin olive oil on these really did the trick. So I'm gonna put this one in, some blue cheese. Now, here's the thing about me and like blue cheese and ranch. I like to taste the wing uh, as well as the sauce I'm using. I don't want it to just overpower, so I didn't use a whole heck of a lot of blue cheese. Mm. Great flavor. Dip some more in. You know, one of the things I forgot to talk about was that Sweet Baby Ray's injection in here. That is fantastic. Great flavor. One heck of an added bonus to this whole, the whole wing. Mm. All right, let's try some ranch. Mm. If I were just gonna go with the Sweet Baby Ray's injected in here, and the dip, like a ranch, that'd be perfect. Let's try it full powered with our salt and vinegar. Damn good. I'm gonna clean it up real quick. That's it. Make sure you use that fat, whether it be duck fat or EVOO, some kind of spray that goes over the top of those wings. Now we cooked them at about 400 degrees, but the temperature did fluctuate between 350 and 450, but I would say average about 400. I pulled them off when they were 180 to 185. I think one of them in the very back was 190. And that's kind of the hot spot on, on my grill. But they're absolutely amazing. All right. Thanks everybody for watching. Love you. Peace. See you on the next episode.